Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today is super short tutorial. We're gonna cover a topic that I found out that a lot of my students are not aware of, and it's hopefully a little uh, thing that will help you to speed up your workflow quite a bit. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to this super short tutorial. Well, in this video, I wanna show you a couple of things that I've noticed with my students that they were not aware of. They are uh, pretty basic uh, when you're using Maya, and I believe everyone using Maya should know it. Okay, so let's start with the easy one. Okay, so if we go in and we go to create polygon primitives and let's take a cube, for example, right? If I right click and go to face and I want to extrude this, I can go up to edit mesh extrude or I can just simply select it and hit control E. Now, once I do that, I get these controls here. Now, uh, when I extrude, I can pull this up, right? Apparently, what a lot of people don't know is what these little cubes are for at the end of my controls. Now, I can not only pull this up, but I can also take that cube right there, right? Or that cube right there and scale it. Scale it in this direction, scale it in that direction, or take the cube in the middle and scale in the overall direction, okay? Now, you can uh, tweak the sliders here as well if you like. You can just... Uh, left mouse and slide up and down on the thickness. You can uh, tweak the offset if you like. You can uh, work with the visions as you can see. So that's something you uh, definitely need to know, right? Okay, like I said, that was the easy one. Now for the very, very cool one. Okay, we're gonna go in and uh, let's uh, create another cube. All right, so Right click face once again, we're gonna hit uh, control uh, E to extrude and W to pull up, all right? And stop, all right? So now let's say I want to scale this face in, right? If I hit R and I scale in, the whole thing will come in, all right? So I'm gonna hit control Z to go back and instead of hitting R, I'm gonna hold down shift and hit R. So now, it does something totally different, as you can see, all right? Now, I'm gonna W, pull that up again. Let's try that again. Let's hit E to rotate, but we're gonna hold down Shift as we do so. And you can see that something happens that is totally different than when I would simply hit E, okay? So that's a little thing I wanted to show you, and that is what I found that a lot of people don't know, all right? Okay, that's it. Like I said, super short, super simple. Nevertheless, I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see future videos, please subscribe, okay? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.